the hollow earth theory ancient astronaut theorists suggest that deep within our own planet could be another earth discovery of large bodies of water deep into the earth further supports the claim also believed a more civilized a more advanced civilization flourishes there the entrance to the inner world slash earth is a south pole and a north pole and it's depicted in this recent movie godzilla vs king kong I, I was generally a little bit interested in this because this is this is a little bit of a different one you know what i have to agree what the hell this is crazy i have to agree because not agree in the sense that agree everything but what's what's in the ocean bro what, what's in the ocean tell me what's in the ocean what up um there's some, there's some whack shit in the ocean that you don't know about no one knows about half what's the what's the percentage of something that the, hasn't been explored of the ocean like what 80 percent or something of the ocean has been explored because we can't, we physically can't go that low into the ocean you know what i mean i agree yeah i heard like there's so many species that we have no idea what is yeah more than 80 percent of the ocean is unmapped unabsorbed unobserved and unexplored is that not the is that not the most ridiculous stat? Like deep, deep down there in the oceans, there's there could be some whack, whack shit just sleeping and just lying and curling there. Cause you can see, like if you go on Google and you just type in like um, deep sea creature, like deep sea creatures, like you just see some weird shit. And there's like been deep sea creatures that have oh shot man, what the shit. hell? So, yeah, there's some. There's been some weird ones that have just washed up to shore. Holy crap! This, these are creepy creatures. It's insane how like we've put in so much effort to like travel to the moon and Mars, but no one's really given a f- what's like underneath the ocean, and we just haven't invested any technology because like people don't think it's like financially smart or it won't make any money. But like literally, you're right. There's so much shit under us that is underexplored. Uh, imagine if there's like a freaking like aliens living in the marina trench that one day might like freaking get smart enough to like travel to the surface there's been a lot of movies about that you know yeah uh i don't know if you've seen like not a lot but like there's a few like so many of them like journey to the center of the earth like old 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 ones right but like yeah you're 100 percent right we're investing so much money to explore what's physically essentially outside of the atmosphere right as opposed to exploring deep sea like what's what's deep in our seas you know what i mean like damn like i'm just thinking i might watch a documentary after this as to like you know like some youtube videos on like deep sea exploration and stuff just to see because that shit freaks me out i know a lot of people as well it's like what's the top 10 fears ocean imagine being stuck in the middle of an ocean i heard it's like it's it's not it's like mentally tough and it's really boring i thought it was cool like getting in a yacht being in the middle of the ocean but after one or two days it's literally like sitting in your room and like for you know, just being the same you're seeing the same shit exactly you're seeing same stuff everywhere and it's like if something goes wrong i, I don't know bro like I'm, I'm way too like i'm way too scared about the ocean to like want to go and explore it properly like on a boat or whatever but yeah as to the hollow going back to the hollow earth theory what, what are your thoughts do you think that like godzilla versus king kong there's some monsters living in there somewhere dude i feel like all those stories have to like have happened 